Hi, and welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Topperine. And I'm Vince Penman. In this episode, we're going to take a look at how engineers design the heating and air conditioning technology that keeps us comfortable, no matter what the temperature is outside. We'll also take a look at some of the ways they're trying to make that equipment more energy efficient. Many of us take for granted the indoor climate control that allows us to live in comfort year round. Whether it's hot, humid summer afternoon or a frigid winter night, when we step inside, it's the heating and air conditioning technology that ensures a comfortable room temperature of around 72 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius. The technology for indoor environmental control is referred to as HVAC or HVAC, which stands for heating, ventilating, and air conditioning. Typically, large modern buildings like office towers have heating systems that use boilers to heat water, which is then distributed by pipes around the building to radiators that transfer the heat to the air. Smaller buildings and homes typically have what's known as a forced air system, where a furnace heats air that is distributed throughout the house through a series of air ducts. In warmer weather, these same ducts can be used to distribute air that's been cooled by a central air conditioner. We've certainly come a long way from the days when cavemen had to huddle around a fire for warmth. So Vince, why do you still run around grunting and screaming when you see an open flame? Oh, what? I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Point me. Most air conditioning systems work by a process engineers call a vapor compression refrigeration cycle. A fluid with unique thermodynamic properties called a refrigerant is forced through a powered compressor as a gas. The refrigerant exits the compressor as a high pressure superheated gas. It passes through a condenser that removes the heat from the refrigerant causing it to condense into liquid. This condensed liquid refrigerant then travels through an expansion valve where it goes through a sudden pressure drop. This drop in pressure causes the liquid refrigerant to instantly and because of the thermodynamic properties of the refrigerant, this rapid expansion also causes a drop in temperature. This low temperature gas refrigerant then passes through an evaporator where it comes into contact with the high temperature room air. Heat is exchanged, the room air cools down, and the refrigerant heats up. The warm gas refrigerant is then fed back into the compressor to complete the cycle. Engineers use sophisticated software tools to design and test HVAC equipment. Companies like Daikin, Hitachi, Campman, and Trox use Creo's direct modeling tools to design HVAC equipment that runs more efficiently. Software modeling allows engineers to minimize losses and maximize efficiency in components like compressors, circulator fans, and ducting. CAD modeling software also allows engineers to design customized equipment to meet the specs of a specific project. The growing worldwide demand for air conditioning systems presents engineers with another design challenge. On hot days, when all these air conditioning systems are running simultaneously, it creates a huge demand on the electrical grid. In some places, heat waves have led to blackouts caused by this increased demand for electricity. Engineers are now faced with the challenge of finding ways to make air conditioning systems more energy efficient. One energy saving design is a solar powered conditioner that uses solar energy to power the motors and fans. The Green Core air system is powered by a 170 watt solar panel and can be used entirely off the grid or as a solar battery hybrid. Toyota has also implemented a novel cooling system for its hybrid Prius model. When a Prius is parked in the hot sun, roof mounted solar panels actually power fans that circulate the air inside the car keeping the temperature inside to about the same temperature as the outside of the car. Not only does that mean you won't come back to a car that's as hot as an oven, it also means that the air conditioning system doesn't have to use as much energy to cool the car. Now, if there was only a way to convert the solar energy into a cloaking device to make the Prius look a little cooler, yeah. You can try Creo's direct modeling tools, the same software that engineers use at Daikin, Hitachi, and Trox with a free for lifetime version from PTC. Just go to ptc.com slash go slash modeling express. That's it for the product design show this week. If you like the show, give us a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes. We'll see you next week when we look at the engineering design that goes into drives and motors.